hello friends welcome to my channel in this video we are going to study how to determine temperature gradient in steady two dimensional heat conduction with example so friends let's start friends suppose here this is y axis and here this is x axis okay this is y axis here this is x axis and here we consider one object suppose this is a object okay here this is the object here okay as you can see here suppose consider this surface and this surface these two sides are not insulated and these two sides are not insulated and remaining size sides sides are insulated and here in this case as we mentioned here steady two dimensional heat conduction is there so here heat transfer is taking place in this direction okay and is this direction okay in this case okay here uh, you can consider the direction of heat flow is from this to this uh, here to here in this direction q and here in this direction this q here as you can see okay these two directions and we will give the name to these two this suppose this is surface um, s and this is surface P okay here in both the cases uh, there are two temperature gradients but, uh, but we will see it later on here there are do t upon do x for do and do t upon do y this is for s this is for s and here do t upon do x for surface P and do T upon do Y for surface P here friends heat always flows in uh, in the direction of normal to the surface okay heat heat always flows normal to surface okay here in this case so here friends as you can see this s surface is normal to x axis okay so here in case of temperature gradient here this dou t upon dou x will have some numerical value we will denote it as n later on we will see the example to understand the concept clearly and as this surface is not perpendicular to y axis so here dot t upon dou y s is zero similarly as you can see here this surface surface p is perpendicular to or normal to axis y so here dot t upon dou y for p surface is some will have some numerical value and dou t upon dou x is not here this surface is not perpendicular to this one that is x axis so here this value is 0 dou t upon dou x p is equal to 0 suppose friends this surface have length 1 meter and this surface have size 2 meter okay here we are going to consider the surface temperature is constant surface temperature is constant okay and here we have given data one more that is uh, dou t upon dou x s is equal to 10 kelvin per meter okay now here we have to find out uh, this term so here uh, as we know for constant surface temperatures uh, here for constant surface temperature here we have q 
conduction at surface S is equal to Q conduction at surface P. Okay, so here we have that is uh, here we have K A P do T upon do Y for this one. Okay, do T upon do Y S is equal to K here. Uh, sorry, do T upon do Y P. Okay, and here we have K A s do t upon do x s okay now we will simplify this one do t upon do y p is equal to a, a, a s upon a p and here k is constant k k cancel out k upon k will cancel out okay and further we have here do t upon do x s now let's put the values so here do t upon do y p is equal to a s upon a p we have here uh, 2 upon 1 sides as you can see okay further we have here value of this that is 10 uh, Kelvin per meter so here 10 Kelvin per meter which is now equal to 20 Kelvin per meter this is the value for do t upon do uh, as you can see here this is the value for do t upon do y p which is 20 kilo new kilo Kelvin per meter so friends in this video we have understood how to determine temperature gradient in steady two dimensional heat conduction with example Thank you friends for watching this video, like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.